Okay, so in this one, we're not going to be going through on the computer, going through a lecture style video. We're just going to be thinking about why is it when you start a diet, we always seem to lose so much weight in the first week or first two weeks, but it always seems to dial down after that. This also applies to people trying to gain weight. So a lot of people will start gym training and try to put on size and they'll notice they'll put on, you know, up to a kilo, two kilos within the first, you know, couple of weeks, but then it always dials down after. This is one that's wondered about quite a lot, and the answer is actually really, really simple. It all comes down to glycogen. Glycogen is how we store carbohydrates in our body. It's a very compact and coiled structure with lots and lots of branches, and it takes a lot of water to hold it in place because it's not very soluble. Although, yes, it's a carbohydrate, and it does have a lot of OH groups, which are water soluble, it's so large in a molecule that it takes too much water to completely dissolve it which is why it's used for storage, because if it dissolved, it wouldn't be very good for storage because it would be used. Because of this, glycogen needs four molecules of water for every molecule of glycogen. And seeing as we saw glycogen in some pretty large body parts, because the main store of glycogen is in our muscles and largely in our liver. This means that we tend to store a lot more water in our muscles and our liver when we have a lot of glycogen because you need four molecules of water for every molecule of glycogen. Because glycogen is our primary fuel source after dietary carbohydrate, it's our primary stored energy source. This means that when we start a diet, we're not going to immediately start burning fat. We will first be using up this glycogen store. So when you're starting this diet and restricting calories, your body will respond by burning its energy stores. So we burn this glycogen and we no longer have anything to hold those four molecules of water in place per each molecule. This is why an initial weight loss is known as water weight, because we're just burning up our energy source that's holding water in place, which means we're losing a lot of weight from our muscle and from our liver. This isn't a bad thing necessarily, we do have other stores, but it is something that just happens regularly. We regularly will burn our glycogen supplies, more so in people who train. Bringing us around to our other point, people who gain weight rapidly when they start training, or they gain a lot of size, more so than they would in the later weeks. Or months. If you're trying to gain weight, you should be probably eating more calories, which means you'll be eating more carbohydrates, which means you'll have more glycogen stored in your muscle and liver, meaning you're going to store more, more water. This may give the appearance of a slightly bigger growth in muscle in the initial week or so, because you're going to be packing water in to keep that glycogen in place, and also you're going to be gaining that weight. Although being quite simple, the take home message is this. If you're getting upset that you're not losing as much weight as you were when you started on a diet, don't lose hope. All you're doing is using up your carbohydrate stores and losing water. You will start to burn your stored fat after. That is why people will often give up in the earlier stages because they're not losing as much weight. But you haven't started on the stored fat quite as much yet. So once you've lost that initial bout, stick with it and you will start losing more weight that's going to stay off because glycogen comes straight back. If you found this useful or you know anyone that might benefit from this, who tends to do a lot of crash course dieting, make sure to give a thumbs up so that it goes higher in the ratings and everyone can see it. Subscribe and share and it will really, really help this site out. Good luck with your weight loss and your weight gain or whatever you're doing and I'll see you next time.